in real life, Hager had a he had a bike for a little while, but he's not really into bikes. Believe it or not. Rewind, recap, relive for over fifty episodes. The revolutionary force in wrestling interview. You yeah. mentioned Undertaker. I think the only other wrestler to come out on a motorcycle was Undertaker, or at least you're, you're in a, an elite group, maybe. I think as far as singles, I, I know um, there was a, I don't know if Legion of Doom or oh, uh, I don't know if they did it for a little while back in the day. And I, I want to say the, who were the twins? They were in WCW, two big guys, nice guys. I think as far as a single character that the bike was used every week, I think I was the only other one to do it besides Taker as far as the bike being a Big part of the character, you know what I mean? And a, a lot of, I've seen people say, oh, it's just like American badass Taker. That was the fans. Did you actually ever hear anything from Undertaker, though, about it? Like himself? Like a nah, he, was, he, was, he was totally cool with it because he was, you know, it's so funny because in real life, Taker had a, he had a bike for a little while, but he's not really into bikes. Believe <laughs> it or not. Um, you know, because, you know, I've, I've known him for a long time. Um he, he, you know, he knew what I like. You know, he knew I liked bikes. And he knew what my plans were. I think in in the future, so he was he was good with it. Um, but yeah, you know, you always get the. I don't pay that. You know, you remember like when I was in the business, the internet really wasn't like all this stuff that they have now. And all the, I was out in 08. There was no social media, really, was there? I mean, what what was going on in 08? Was there maybe – was there Facebook maybe? I don't even know. But um, Maybe like early stages, yeah, something. Yeah, so I don't really – it wasn't like they had, what they have now, you know what I mean? So, But, you know, I had heard from guys like, oh, yeah, that's a, that's like an Undertaker ripoff or whatever. And I was, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't thinking about that. I was, I was thinking about my future, you know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, that's kind of how that worked out. But um, It was but a cool yeah. way to go out. That's – because I feel like you span generations like that. Like, I'm 25. I started watching probably, like, 2007. And that's about what I remember of Chuck Palumbo. Like, that's what I knew you best for. Yeah. Growing up. So, but then, of course, people knew you from WCW and everything. So, it's cool. It was a cool, yeah. like, to go out on. It was memorable. Yeah, I got, you know, for me, like I said, I never was a top guy. And that, that really was, you know, it would have been nice um, if it had played out that way. But for me, it was, like, the experience – I got to wrestle in WCW around and be around all those legends of the game, right? And then I got to go to WWF with all those legends. And then I was there for the buyout. Yeah. You know what I mean? Prior to going to WWF. I was there for that buyout. That was the most real thing that had, had ever happened in the industry to this day. You know, the you know, Vince buying uh WCW and basically live on television, uh, doing our last show. Down in Florida, it, you know, it was just having having Shane come into the locker room, you know, having not ever met him before and saying, hey, you know, we, we, we bought you guys and here's what you're doing tonight. I mean, to be part of the business during that time, that you know, that was an incredible time to be in the business. So I just feel like I've been just so fortunate to see so many different eras in such a short, you know, basically my, my TV career. For the most part, I'm not talking about independence or or working in Japan later on and stuff like that or or Europe, but just my like TV in the states, WCW, WWF, WWE. It was only ten years, you know, total. You know what I mean? But I saw so much in those ten years, you know. Rewind, recap, relive for over fifty episodes. The revolutionary force in wrestling interviews.